Hey everybody, welcome back for some more Pokemon Shining Pearl. It's been a little while, and uh, since the last episode, I trained up my Mischievous. I got Mischievous all the way up to level 55, which means I know the move, uh, Power Gem, I think it's called, which is probably not, you know, worth doing all that for, but... It's there now, and we can finally evolve it, and I'm going to be putting it in the box for a little while uh, until everybody else catches up, which shouldn't take too long. Everyone's almost into the 50s at this point. Uh, I've been doing a few other things off screen. We'll get into that in a few seconds. Uh, I do have a, a funny little, funny little story. Also, i got to bring up something else real quick. Now that we're about a minute in, is it time for me to swear? Because <laughs> I want to have a man-to-man uh, a -man chat with, uh, with the developers, because my god, for some reason, that was the most difficult crap ever. Uh, as you can tell, I caught a Feebas, and uh, we'll get into that. It's a modest. Cool. Uh, we'll get into that now in a second. I want to bring up that ledge down there. I fell off that friggin' thing like two times <laughs> before starting this video. I had to scrap a f like I was. I already started this video and did like four minutes, and I fell off that thing twice and I had to run around the damn place, and it was annoying. <laughs> so I had to redo the evolution and the start of this episode, and it was annoying. <laughs> but anyway, as for the fee bass. I, uh, I went up Mount Cornet, uh, the same area that I was last time. I went to the lake, and for those that don't know, Feebas is insanely rare in this game. <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't... It's just kind of difficult to get to spawn. Once you get it to spawn, you, you can get a ton of them. Because uh, I caught, like two and a half boxes worth until I got the one that I really wanted. But anyway, <clears throat> basically, uh, you have a, I think it's one out of four tiles in that entire lake where it will spawn. And it sounds ridiculous, because it is. <laughs> and those tiles change every single day out of the four, I guess. I know what one of them is for me now. Um, is there anything down here? Oh, there's an item down here. Uh, so I thought, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm not recording tonight, so I'm just gonna go and, and try to catch it, the, which was like two nights ago. I go to the lake, I go to the top left, and this is based off of your ID, by the way, so you, you, you guys probably won't get the same luck. I went to the first tile, tried the first tile like three or four times, didn't get anything. I tried the second tile three or four times, didn't get anything. Where am I going to be now? Oh! And uh, got to the third tile and tried it once and got a Feebas. <laughs> and I was very, very happy that I didn't have to check that entire lake for a fee bass. And <clears throat> the next struggle was getting the right one, which probably took hours, because I, I kept getting the wrong natures. I, it was always giving me like the worst possible natures you could get. Yeah, that's not going to do much. You, you can let me run now. What are you at? 37? Really? You couldn't run away from that? Um, let's see if we can figure it out. I, I, honestly, I can't remember how to get through this place. So we'll figure it out together. <laughs> I still haven't taught this Pokemon Surf yet. And I can't remember if that's a good idea. Is this a physical Pokemon or a special attacker? 
Actually, let's find that out real quick. Napoleon. I'm guessing physical. Oh, definitely special attacker. So Surf would be good. Its defense is crap. <laughs> um, so, where is my Surf? I also have Skull. I don't know where the hell that came from. I can teach a Brick Break. Cool. Surf. Here we go. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Mm. Let's get rid of Aqua Jet. There we go. Wait, so if I surf now, will I be on Empoleon or will I still be on P Barrel? I think I already had Rock Slide. But I'll happily take it. Another revive. I will take it. I see a cave. Oosh. I <laughs> I just got flashbacks. Oh god. I wanna fall down there. <coughs> I still have a little bit of a cough, so apologies if I do end up coughing. I uh still sort of getting over the flu. It's it's mainly just a random cough here and there. And my voice might be a little bit different. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. It's just... A random room. Cool. This will be going up. After the wild Pokemon gets in my way. You know, one of these days I'm going to complain about a wild Pokemon, and then it's going to be a shiny. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a crappy one. I mean, I wouldn't mind a shiny Golbat. It's like pink and green, right? Oh. <laughs> Team Galactic. I forgot that they were inside the mountain. Okay. If I would have brought Miss Magius here, she would have destroyed everyone. Holy crap. Especially this thing. Mm hmm. Uh. Wait, can I teach you Aerial Ace? Oh, I'll probably look that up off screen. I should probably just start teaching my Pokemon TM moves. I don't know why. <laughs> I keep avoiding it. Because I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to teach them something that they're supposed to learn naturally. Okay. Thanks for paralyzing my Pokemon. Uh, oh, we have a ton of Pokeballs, too. <laughs> I'm prepared. Um, we got the Lucky Egg. A ton of items. We have more items than we can friggin' count at this point. I don't know why I went all the way over there. Good God. Our time has come. It's Team Galactic's time now. I don't know why I read that like I was like William Shatner or something. Oh god. Alright, let's try it, sir. And... Should kill it. Maybe. Oh, 
Okay. I like the music here. It's nice. Oh, dude, I forgot how good the music was on, on Cornet. God, I need to cough so bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Just push it. What the heck? They do. We'll take it. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I'm just kind of going. Oh. Well, I found a Team Collective member, so... Maybe I am going the right way. Time for only us. I'm going to turn back your time to a time before Pokemon. So, by the time this episode comes out... This, this has long since happened. But this has been it's been a few days since the game awards for me. Uh, congratulations to it it takes two for winning game of the year. Uh, I wasn't ex I, I didn't I didn't really know who I had in mind for game of the year because it was a it was a weird list because there wasn't a whole lot of big blockbuster games that came out this year that I could think of like no offense. <laughs> any of the games that came out, but it uh, it wasn't like a huge year in gaming, and I can understand, it. you know, a lot of studios kind of not able to go in and do what they normally do, which is hammer out games, but it's, it's, it's slowly getting better for that kind of stuff now, probably, uh, Probably get like Nintendo Directs and stuff starting next year. Which, by the time this video comes out, I don't even know if it'll be next year. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure, actually. It'll be interesting. Uh, that should be good enough. But I'm like, I'm, I'm really curious to see, um, like, what new things come out next. Obviously, I really want Breath of the Wild 2, or whatever they end up calling it. People were mad that they didn't show it at the Game Awards. Actually, it didn't show anything from Nintendo. I guess they're saving it for January. I don't blame them. If, if you have a direct lined up for January, then why throw anything at the Game Awards? I mean, they need Nintendo more than Nintendo needs them at this point. That Game Awards was so boring to watch. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The music was good. Although I wish they played more video game music. And, uh... I can't... Honestly, I can't remember like who the other nominees for Game of the Year. I know Metroid was. Um, it already won Best Action Adventure Game, I think it, it did. Uh, I was happy as long as Deathloop didn't win. <laughs> I don't have anything against Deathloop, the game. I have a problem with the marketing of Deathloop. That game pissed me off so much. Why was there five million fucking trailers for Deathloop? It was so annoying. Every fucking direct there was a fucking Deathloop trailer. Every E3, every fucking Sony direct, every whatever. <laughs> if they could find a, a place to squeeze a damn trailer in to show the exact same thing we all knew was a part of the you're stuck in a loop we get it <laughs> release the damn thing I'm sure it was a great game but it put such a sour taste in my mouth 
that I didn't want the game anymore because it was advertised so much. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. <laughs> but for me, I was just, I was done. <laughs> that, this cave makes no sense. How did the trainer battle not start? Huh? I feel like if I go down here, I'm not going the right way. But I do want to battle this guy. This is our final operation, no one will interfere. Because I feel like I should be going up rather than down. Oh, god damn it. Why don't I just use Lux Ray for the entire thing? Pokemon. I totally turned the tables on you. Come at me with a team of six next time. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That has to be an item. Alright, went all the way up there for a big friggin' mushroom. <clears throat> that was definitely worth it. Why is she facing a wall? What the fuck are these people? But the uh, Deathloop won a couple awards, so it's not like it didn't win anything. <laughs> the one oh Ratchet and Clank didn't win anything, which to me was surprising. I, I was very surprised that they didn't win at least one award. Um, like, It Takes Two won Best Family Game as well. They beat Nintendo, which Nintendo, like, that's their damn award. Like, I think they had five nominated games for that category, and It Takes Two beat all of them. <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily call It Takes Two a family game. Sort of, I guess. Yeah, I guess it would be, yeah. I, uh, I'm trying to think of what the other family games were. Uh, honestly, this year has been a blur. I don't even know what came out. Didn't Halo win something? And it, like, just came out. What the fuck is that even? I can't remember what it won. It might have been like player's choice. Which, I'm fine with that. Could you imagine if it won game of the year? No, there's nothing worse than a game that just comes out, gets nominated for game of the year, and wins it. I, that's, that's my biggest annoyance when it comes to award shows. I fucking hate that shit. There's a dude down there. Can't believe you chased me here. I don't even know who you are. Krogum. Alright, well, as we're beating the crap out of this dude, I would like to thank everybody for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this episode and enjoyed my little rant, <laughs> leave Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Come on back for more Pokemon Shining Pearl. Hopefully in the next episode we work our way up to the top. And uh, we finish off Team Galactic and we get back on the trail to the 8th gym. 
I also have a legendary Pokemon to catch. That should be fun. I'm sure I won't fail at that. If I, if I get the legendary in like one catch, that would be hilarious. Considering the annoyance that I would have with Pokemon in the underground. How fitting. Um. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to switch. Or, uh, Oh, he killed it. Holy crap. Wasn't expecting it to die, actually. Foul play. Is that a good move? 95. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage. Oh. Well, I got no way to do that. Let's get rid of Smog. get that power. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.